moving on. Okay. Okay, uh, Clayton can't be here tonight, uh, so I'll call the, the meeting to order. Uh, are there any additions or changes to the agenda? Next agenda item is to approve the minutes of March 8th and March 22nd. Oh, my bad. There is a change to the agenda. <laughs> Sorry. Um, there is not a 70 fund request for tonight. Okay, we haven't um, had any discussion, so I think that's fine. Yep, that's coming in. Nice. Yeah. 70 fund request is on the agenda. Correct. Right. Sorry, we're taking it over. We're taking the agenda. Yeah. Can we move yeah. to remove it? We can move. Yep. I will move. Uh, yeah, and we can we can move it when we get down to it. Okay. Okay, so approval of the minutes for March 8th and March 22nd. I will make a motion to approve the minutes. I'll second. And March 22nd. Okay. And there's a second. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. 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 All those aye. say no. Administrative reports. First is from the superintendent. Um, there's some hiring going on. I have a recommendation to hire our teacher. Hey, uh, okay, ready. ready for tonight. Uh, but yeah, I would talk with a candidate if I if I place her in two steps. I'll just let her know that. I really don't turn these things down when I bring somebody to the fire. What position is this for? For elementary art. All right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I just got, I haven't even looked at it myself. It just showed up in the mailbox this afternoon. Um, you know, the PCB testing, yeah, you know, we'll see. Uh, trying to push the, the Senate somehow to detach the House put. Pass a bill to pause the PCD testing program and to fund PCD remediation at 100%. And the Senate doesn't want to pause the test program, so they're going to have to uncouple those two things. And uh, they better uncouple them. And because we're going to be not just Danville, but Cabot and Twinfield are going to be in trouble. They don't account, approve a method for distributing remediation money. Stay tuned on that. Um, uh, the new statewide testing program will be it will be an interesting journey. <laughs> to, to sure whatever, well, <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, it's, you know, it was they signed a state the agency signed a contract late, and then said we are testing in April, and so we're still working on getting it to run and discovering interesting things. It's an adaptive test, and a, an adaptive test says that. The student is, is taking the test and misses uh, two or three questions. The test automatically drops down, makes it goes to simpler questions. It assumes that it's testing at too high a level for that student, and so it's called adaptive testing. We really just found out yesterday that the uh, text to speech feature that's in the uh, that's in the testing uh, software, if you turn that on, it some for some reason turns off off adaptive test. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, doesn't yeah. make any sense to me, but they, they just told us that yesterday. So that's you know, that's sort of a monkey wrench in the things. It's it system should go live tomorrow. So for the first time we'll be able to get into it. Yeah. But yes, Dave, just to address your look at this belief, exactly right. In case we need it the most not yet. Right. Yeah. So um I'm not expecting much out of this test. I just hope people find their way through this testing period. It's the end of the month, right? The last two weeks of the month? It opens, the window opens April 12th and it closes May 6th. Okay. So it goes live tomorrow, one week before it opens. Yeah. What could go wrong? It's going to be great. It's going to yeah. be wonderful. But it doesn't have the big performance task, which that is a good thing, yes. Yeah. yeah. That was overwhelming. Yeah. It's um, amazing how you read my mind by the position of my eyebrows. <laughs> 
Right. You're exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> um, picking a small piece of water tomorrow, Dave is going. Uh, we need Dave and uh, principal from um, Walden and is it Pizza and Barnett? Sam's going from Pizza and Barnett. Louis is not well. So, so she's going to follow up. Um, or crisis planning training. We'll see if that's how that goes. Um, and then I have a meeting set up. I think it's next week with somebody from AOE that's going to give me some options for how to uh, spend the dual settlement. You know, we got $36,000. We're giving a third of it in fees. But we got about twenty-two thousand dollars out of that, and it's you know it's free money, and let's spend it on anti-smoking education. And I'm going to be particularly interested in seeing what they have for programming at the very youngest grades. Because I'm not sure that if this you know we want to stop our older kids from vaping and smoking, but it's worth the investment. I think if we can do some elementary education, we're starting in the first place. So. Agency says they have all kinds of programs and stuff, and they haven't done anything to stop on that. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and that's all I have. And what anybody have? Questions? Thank you. We will go on to student services. The last page. Any questions or comments on student services report? Next administrative report is principal. Any questions or comments? I appreciated all the information you provided this month around um, just the academic achievement and testing that's going on. And it's been on my mind since I started on the board. So having that conversation is helpful about our goals for the district and ways to measure, um, I guess I would say academic growth versus achievement, achievement, like how students are progressing and persevering. Um, so I appreciated that level of de detail that you provided in that. Yeah, we really, that a lot of pressure we thought was really good from what I've ever seen. So, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've done a lot of work with writing. We've done a little bit of work with math. So getting, we're reading side of the literacy is going to be reading. Yeah. Report is getting involved. One of your parents. Good. Yeah, and I think one other good piece that we're hoping to get from that is we never really had good information about the mm -hmm. um, We've done side testing, it's a limited use. It's, it's, it's only as good as the get data sort of thing. It's not as good as the get data. And we'll get it. So yeah. it would be nice to have the first one. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much. Do we have a student rep report? I didn't, I didn't see one, one coming in email, one. so I mean, we'll pass on that. Board business, uh, dedication of softball field. The town on that field? Yeah, I was, yes, they, they do. They own all the property down there. Um, I was on the board when um, it was a dedic uh, dedication to Joe Pett for a the baseball field um, and because it is town property we can you know be enthusiastic and support it but it's really not our decision um, i have it on pretty good authority that the select board is willing to, to sort of go along with whatever the school recommends so this board recommends to the select board so they can take the formal action Right. Now, um, with um, 
the process that uh, that was done was they gathered the signatures on a petition and presented it to the select board and they were able to act upon that. I don't think I, I don't think there's any problem getting 85 signatures somewhere. I mean, I can create a petition. I mean, I it's, it's not us. It's, does the town need a petition? So the, but I don't think there is a formalized process for this. I, mean, I think that should we make a recommendation based on years of service and reputation, um, that the select board may be willing to do it just based on our recommendation. And so we may want to start there with a recommendation and then ask them if they need more documentation. The formal process would be with them anyway. Right. Yeah. It would be with, yeah, and then we'd have to have whatever form they want us to do. Um, but I think to start that process for them, if there is a process, and we just want to make a formal recommendation. Okay, and any, uh, any, Further information in the right to Clayton. Yeah. So let's put it in the form of a motion then. Okay. So that the school board will go ahead. I will move to dedicate Blackwell Field. Um, should we mention the select board in that? I think um, you to make, make a recommendation to the select board that we dedicate. Paul Remick for 39 years of dedicated service. Tim, do you want me to claim you as the motion on that? Sure. <laughs> Tim, move to what did you say? You say it again. <laughs> so I we're making a motion to make a recommendation to the select board um, that the field be dead. I'll second that. Okay. Any discussion? So um, I think this will go to the select board through, uh, officially through Clayton, that he'll send an email saying, uh, okay. So all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. So Dave, you'll reach out to Clayton, make sure that that gets yes. along to him. Yep. Okay. Uh, secondary principles uh, search. It's a very shallow pool of candidates. Um, we've had some applications for people who have not yet entered into the process of uh, getting their appropriate education to get a principal part. So those people are not qualified. We had um, we've had a couple of uh, we've had a couple of applications. One that had some concerns about the person reapplied. Um, we had one that um, we, we had one that looked good. It's a candidate from New Jersey. I reached out to him, made contact with him, and did not respond to me. So, um, I mean, at this point, I think we're going to we have to make a decision. Oh, and the other one that came up was um, um, former principal principal of Littleton Middle High School. Just recently resigned. Um, I had a conversation with him a couple months ago, and I had some concerns about what at the time he was on. Uh, he's not on. He's resigning effectively, effective at the end of the school year. And he reached out to me again the other day and said, "Hey, you know, can I reapply?" So I didn't even have a chance to talk to David, Sarah, to get their feel about it. Um, I don't have a lot of good news around that. I don't know where the candidates are, but I, I have heard from other superintendents that they're really struggling to fill administrative role positions. So I'm not panicked yet, but I'm getting close to, to that point. Huh? Somebody's giving me the eyeball. I forgot how to read your mind. You'll get one 
How are things um, going for you, Dave? Yeah. Managing yeah. your roles? Um, the the works program is on the list. Like it's hard to do work and get it. Again, as we talked about when we went into this, I'm fortunate that there, we have some strong staff who are keeping what we have going, but what's fallen off are interns and community outreach. Potential limits and then the next one. Getting a you know, make him and keep another and component going. Zach exactly. can keep a shop program going. Suzanne, I hope you can kind of keep Suzanne and keep Suzanne on there as I stay there. But um, that's sort of what it's all about. So they're sort of filling all that. Um, the farther sort of answer kind of where you know, I might not be reminded of it. Okay. Um, you, we we invested a lot of time and energy in saying that that would be worthwhile and valid program. And I think it would be early and disingenuous to say the community just getting only valid when it you know went to the Right. Yeah, and 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 to be fair, it's <clears throat> that's the deal with that we made. You know, we had, yeah. we can't we can't let the, a program that important fall apart. I think that's, you know, I have to, and I know that some bigger schools are making some decisions about some jobs. Soon, I know like Harwood, for example, just hired, we just put a contract out for an assistant principal who's going to be in charge of the middle school. Um, my understanding was that they had a decent care of that particular job. Um, Harwood kind of did a drop out across the brook. The reason they did that was that the middle school principal would go across the brook. So there could be some folks who, had applied to the bigger schools. So I think you have two weeks. Two weeks, but you don't have you don't have. What do you know about the cross of brook thing? Um, <laughs> by cross of brook, I know that the principal. This is all for me. So nothing, nothing, not all this is all public. Um, yeah. The principal across the brook was there for fourteen years. He wanted to step away. He felt fourteen years was not buying one school. They hired Gary Pearson, who was the assistant principal at Harvard after having many roles in the district, to go over to cross of brook. Uh, then Tim Drake tried to wanted to unresign and be the co-principal, and they decided instead to go with a teacher who had applied to not rehire him. Because he applied to Twinfield, and then we reached out to schedule an interview and do his application. Interesting. So I know that it was pretty recent that he just that he was passed out. I think he maybe that if that was a few weeks ago. Oh, it's happened this week. Oh, I don't know that. Yeah, I know that he. I know that the Do you know him? No. Right. And I've been, you know. Things have been good across the book. He's been this great. Well, we had a Twin Field teacher go there this year, and she told us that he's great. So, yeah, we were very excited. And then, yeah, all I know is that he had on it, he had interviewed again, sort of, he couldn't have to all across the book, and he decided to send to go with him. Unless he's moving over to Harwood and they're just switching him around. I don't know who the Harwood yeah. person is yet. Yeah. I just know they have a contract out. So, yeah, is, yeah. is it okay for you to reach out to a certain principal and say, hey, we would like you to apply for this job? No. No, I can't do that. I, I, that's considered highly unethical. In my it's poaching. It's right. poaching. Right. It's um, a term that was used yeah, in something I, else. Okay. But I can't. I can't right. do that. Um, but um, certainly do a lot of background Discussions with other superintendents when somebody comes forward. Uh, I was planning to call the superintendent, the Harwood superintendent, about this guy from Cross and Brook, and he despaired on me. So mm. I don't know. Mm. But yeah, I think Tim's right. I mean, we, you know, in a couple of weeks, we're going to have to have a serious discussion about what, what we do. But I think you have a couple of weeks because yeah. I think a lot of contracts are. Sort of happening positions are being set up and people who have had places they've applied to that are out of preference will be applying to other places. Mm -hmm. There's a few open administrative principal 
positions still in the city. There's not as many as there were last year at all. Surprising. Yeah. Two years ago was not great, but this year was okay. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. 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 I We'll table that to the next meeting. Yep, Martin Pritchard, let me know it's going to be May. We need an executive session to discuss residency. We have no public? Yep. We have nobody here from the public. Yeah, but I can go okay. in. So we'll need a motion, yep. Uh, to go into an executive session at 621. I will second that question. All, any discussion in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed aye. say no. Aye. Motion passed and we'll go in executive session at 621. So we're out of executive session. And we're back on the record at 626. No. Four minutes. Yes. <laughs> right, in four minutes. All right, I will move to approve the um, resident residency request. Um, yeah. Recommendation. Recommendation, but from the superintendent. Um, that's it. Yeah. Right. I have a <laughs> Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Okay. Do we have any public no. No. input? No public. Future agenda items? 75. Will be 70. <laughs> Um, and then we would like to add a discussion around increasing some security features, um, but we would want to do that in executive session. Can you repeat okay. what you said, Sarah? Um, we want to add, Dave and I want to add a conversation about um, some security upgrades for the school, um, but wanting to do that in executive session and possible um, discussion and possible approval of Spending funds. Our next meeting is. All right, after spring break. We'll have, I, we'll have teacher hiring recommendations. Yeah, and I um, also want to, since it'll be the main meeting, I want to ask for summer hiring authority. Yeah. You said May 2nd, Sarah? Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, no one's here, right? So we're good on public. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll move to adjourn at 628. I'll second that. Right. We have a second, a second and a half. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed to no. Melissa, you had the second, right? Yes. 